everybody, it's Jenny Bond here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to talk about this new beauty box subscription box. New beauty subscription box. So this beauty box is called Tribe Beauty Box. And this box gives you five full-size products every two months for about $34.99. Dollars. So for the price of $34.99, you'll get this box. It's like a pink box with has a name Tri Beauty Box labeled on their packaging. And then it basically opens up like this and you can follow their social media handles over here. So if you haven't followed them, go ahead and follow them now. And now I'm gonna unbox and show you guys. And I'm now I'm. I received this beauty blender in limited edition color red. So I've been quite a fan of beauty blender, and I know that. Like I've tried a lot of like makeup sponge, and the only beauty blender has the most good good quality out of, of every single of the beauty sponge I've tried. Next I receive a Wonder Beauty Exquisite Liquid Eyeshadow. Next I receive this Eye Contour Precision Liquid Liner from Sister. Next I receive this Moisture Matte Liquid Lipstick from Suva Beauty. Next, I received this Instain Long Wearing Staining Powder Blush from The Bomb Cosmetics. Next product is from Koki Professional Blurry. Lastly, I received this Bella Pier Cosmetic Glowing Palette. So for December box, the total amount of the products I received is $115.99. And I just paid $34.99. That's pretty awesome. And let's see how much I save. I basically save $116. So I'm gonna do a full face makeup using the Tribe Beauty Box full size products that I received for this month. And let's see the overall final look. Let's start. Okay, so every beauty blender color has its own use. So for example, the OG Pink Beauty Blender is actually good for primers, foundation, cream base products. And the black one is actually for the pro makeup artists. And for the red one, this is actually made as like a, a collaboration with Sephora or something like that. I, I think so. So I already soaked my beauty blender in water and now it gets even bigger and now it becomes bigger and bouncy and fluffy. So then now I'm gonna get my Koki Cosmetic Blur Primer and see how this goes on my face. Oops. So what I like to do is actually just put the product, oh my god it drips, on my face and use a beauty blender to this is super like watery like I don't know so blurring primer okay usually blurring primer contains silicone which is I don't really like I don't really like putting silicone products on my face, especially if you have big pores. Like your pores would soak in all the silicone and then it would clog your pores. So basically I always avoid I always get like silicone free products, but this time I don't have an excuse and I need to try it. So blurring primer, I guess this would cover my pores. Let's see if it works. And I'm taking the Milk Makeup Foundation. This is like a silicone free foundation I like. 
Beauty Blender and a Pink Beauty Blender is actually the same. The only thing, the only difference is their color. Now I'm gonna set my face with a powder and concealer and I'll be right back. So I just finished setting and putting concealer on my face and now let's go and move on to the eye. This box has a Wonder Beauty eyeshadow and an eyeliner. So I'm gonna first, I'm gonna use the eyeshadow first and let's see how this Wonder Beauty eyeshadow goes on my face. So it looks like this. I don't know, it looks to me like a lipstick or a lip gloss, but it's actually a liquid eyeshadow. So let's try it. I feel like it's not quite pigmented in my opinion. It's very sheer. And with this alone, I don't think it would work. But if you add a bit of um, color on this, I think it would work. So that's what it looks like on my lid. I'm not quite happy with how it looks like but let me go ahead and use the glowing palette and put a little bit of color on my lid so this is the glowing palette it actually is it's made with 100 nat one it's made with 100 percent natural minerals and it has six different colors it's like an illuminator and let me go ahead and swatch them for you so it is quite color right here one two one two and this one one two three here looks so similar when I swatch it and add a bit of color using this palette on my lid to see if it would look better. So, based on my swatches, I'm gonna use I think this pink right over here. So, I know this is an illuminator palette, but you could be creative and use it as an eyeshadow too. It doesn't matter. So, okay, so this actually helps set the liquid eyeshadow and it adds a bit more color on my lid. Okay, there you go. Now I'm liking the color of my lid. Okay, so what I noticed is the Wonder Beauty Liquid Eyeshadow when it dries, it, look, it just looks like a white eyeshadow. <laughs> on my lid so liquid eyeshadow you that works and now I'm gonna I want to add a bit of more um color so I'm gonna use this brown right here and just on top of my crease I'm gonna blend it there Adding that brown, my lower lid. Okay, there you go. So that's my eye makeup. 
Now I, I kind of wanted to add a little bit of highlight on my brow bone using the highlighter. This one, the lightest. There you go, and like adding it to the inner corner of my eye as well. Now let's go ahead and make our eyes a little bit more dramatic using the Eye Contour Precision Liquid Eyeliner from Sistar Cosmetic. Okay. Oops. Okay. So this is it. Let's see how dark it is. Boom. It's super black. Let's see, and let's do a cat eye because I love cat eye. Look, it suits the Asian eyes. So, I'm gonna start with like the wing. There you go. And just fill it in. I'm sure let's try if this would smudge. Oh. Ooh. It stays perfectly good. It doesn't this one doesn't smudge at all. Awesome. Okay, let me make sure I really do it nice. I actually loving this eyeliner. Very very nice. <sighs> okay, now I'm gonna go ahead, curl my lashes, put on eyelashes, and then I'll be right back. Just put on my lashes and eyeliner and curl my lashes as well. And this is what it looks like now. It looks super pretty. I think the illuminating powder and this Wonder Beauty Liquid eyeshadow really works well together but if you... I suggest just don't use the liquid eyeshadow alone you really need to set it with a powder and now let's go on with our face so this is a long wearing staining powder blush so let me try and use let me see how this staining blush powder works so, ooh. the color is like more reddish pink. This is actually nice if you're like, if you have like warm toned um, skin tone. So it has like this little cute coat over the top says, wear it well, vu va bien. I don't know if that's a French word. So. I like the packaging. It actually reminds me of um, Benefit Cosmetics. But this is like. So I'm gonna put this on the apple of my cheeks. Let's see. Oh, that's really, really pigmented. Oh my gosh. Make sure when you apply this, just really apply, tap, when you apply this, really tap your brush because I got a lot of product. Okay, I think just blend it more. Now I'm going to take my illuminating powder again, do like a bit of highlight. I kind of want to use this. And for the last product, I have this Zuba Beauty Moisture Matte Liquid One thing about putting a liquid lipstick, make sure you exfoliate your lips, so I'm gonna do it now. Exfoliating your lips, you could use a lip scrub or what I like to use is a toner and just like a cotton pad and just 
rub it off. It actually helps clean and exfoliate your lips. Now my lips are totally soft and smooth. I can now go ahead and apply the liquid lipstick. Red is actually my favorite color in terms of lipstick. So the lipstick also has silicone on it. And you know, this called not this shade is beige. The formula is Kind of like the Anastasia as well, but I don't know how it dries. Later on, let's see if it's transferable as well. Just a little bit. Now it's the final look. So this is the full face makeup I've created using the all products I've got and received. So this is the final look of all the products I received from my December's Try Beauty box. Basically, I wasn't expecting the lip color would be red. I guess it's perfect for the December holidays. Red is like really like gives you this Christmas vibe feel. There's no eyeshadow, but the eyeshadow, the liquid eyeshadow is not that quite good alone. So you need to like set it up set the liquid eye you need to set the liquid eyeshadow with some more powdered pigmented color eyeshadow or what i've used is the illuminating powder that i received from the box and it really works well with it the eyeliner is totally bomb i love the eyeliner it doesn't smudge at all and it's freaking smooth when you apply it on your lid and the blurring primer actually does its job. The only thing I feel like the blurring primer is very, very the texture. The texture of the blurring primer is very watery, and I like it more like dense. I feel like, and the liquid lipstick is totally awesome. Like the formula is really good and it's really hydrating as well i didn't feel any chap on my lips it's not too drying and the blush the stain powder blush is really pigmented i swear to god you really need to apply very very small amount of the blush on your brush because it's it would totally color your cheeks and so if you guys have any more questions about the Tri Beauty Box, please go ahead to their website right here. And there's a lot of all. And you can find the FAQ section where they would answer all your questions that they put in their box are really well put together. And they showcase like a trendy and also like an indie or local brands which is really awesome for me because that's the way of like you know getting more familiar with other local beauty brands out there so i hope to see you again next time be sure to follow me on all my social media channels especially on my instagram as i do a lot of reviews first on my instagram so see you there bye